Hey everyone, thank you for watching again. Um, if you could just subscribe down below, that helps me um, to be able to get more followers, to upload more videos and tips and tricks uh, for you. Um, please let me know in the comments if there's any specific um, suggestions or ideas you want for any videos. So today I'm going to show you how to save a PDF file um, from Cricut Design Space onto your um, or as a PDF onto your computer. Um, so uh, I'm going to step you through this using a Mac. Now I know there is a way to do it using your Windows and when I get to that part I will um, explain to you what to do. Um, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to take any image um, that you have on your Cricut Design Space. Um, I'm using this one. This one is my daughter. She has a little business that she started. Um, it's called Amber Earth. If you want to check it out, it's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, so she, or if, if I design, now I did not design this one in Cricut Design Space. However, if I did design this in Cricut Design Space, I would not be able to save it or upload it or anything else. So let's just say I did design this in Cricut Design Space. I can't, you know, right click and save it. I can't, um, go to file, save. I can't do anything like that, which is extremely frustrating. So being able to save it as a PDF file really is awesome because you can use it in other places. Now in my previous video, I told you how to save a JPEG um, this way. So if you want to do a PDF, this is just a little bit different of a step. Um, so anyways, first you want to open your image and you're going to want to make sure that print, cut, the print and cut is selected. So go ahead and select standard and go up here in the right hand corner where it says make it click make it and your screen is going to pop up here go ahead and click continue on the bottom right and um, so on a windows there's going to be an option that pops up right here i think it still might pop up soon that asked me what printer i want to print to um, so you can change it to a PDF format right here on your Windows computer. However, on the Mac, <coughs> there's a little bit of an extra step. So go ahead and click Send to Printer. Oh, I'm sorry, Here, here's where on the Windows you would choose. So I have all these different printers set up. On a Windows, you would be able to choose your PDF right here. So on a Mac, um, you're going to want to cl click Use system dialog make sure that is ticked turn off the bleed so it doesn't mess with the images and colors in your picture go ahead and click print now if this was not selected and I clicked print it would send it directly to this printer right here and it would just start printing so always make sure the use dialog use system dialog is ticked go ahead and click print and it's gonna like kind of load like this it's kind of uh, deceiving because if you minus this program it's all loaded behind here so here is where it's at and then you want to go down here and click um, the PDF and then just click save as PDF and that's going to pop up this where you can enter in whatever title you want go ahead and click save um, and it is saving to my PDF right there. So then um, I can go to my documents and I see that it's saved right here. So um, go ahead and click it. It's going to open up Adobe Reader and there is my beautiful image. Very crisp, very clean, um, very little distortion or resolution for the size that I originally uploaded in. And then you can go ahead and print from here or do whatever you want with it from here. Um, hope that was helpful and let me know if you have any questions or if you need further explanation. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. I super appreciate you. Give this video a like if it helped, and have a wonderful day.